was September, and the year was 2000. People called it Y2K. I was introduced to a place called the Shaman Shack and the shaman Bobby Ray. He believed that the vibrational sounds coming from singing crystal bowls, along with a focus on a specific chakra, could help people's minds and bodies. It's the power of the singing crystal bowl. Bobby Ray and the Shaman Shack and how it helped so many people in many ways of healing the mind and the body. I always felt a connection to music in my mind. And when I would be there on those Sundays at the shack, I would quiet my mind to the singing crystal balls and the chakra. And I could hear music taking shape in my mind. I would notice melodies along with the vibration of the sounds from the bowls, the harmonics, the scratching and rubbing from the side of the bowls as Bobby would stir, and the wind and the birds, and everything would stimulate this music. Sometimes it would be slow, sometimes it would be fast, sometimes it would have dissonance and there would be struggling. That's what Bobby would call it, a uh, tune-up. He would say, we are out of balance. We need to get everything aligned up just right so that the sounds will be smooth there would be a peaceful, calm wave. The small handheld crystal balls were the ones that Bobby Ray would walk through the room holding in his hand and ringing and stirring and holding that small bowl up to each person in the room that needed a healing of the mind or a healing of the body. And Bobby would hold that bowl close to them with both bowls ringing together and the vibration, you could hear it change. You could hear it flow. I wanted to sit at the piano and just play the notes. But knowing that I couldn't prepare it or plan it out or compose it in advance, I would just have to let it happen. I would just have to listen to the chakra, feel the intention, listen to the bowls, listen to my body, and play the piano. I also wanted my friends Eileen and Kevin to play the piano to Chakra Bowls, which they did. recording in the studio in East Falls, Philadelphia with the piano and Gary on the guitar. And we'd simply have that sound of the crystal bowls in our ears and the headphones. And we would just play the music that was in our mind. It was really important to me to make sure that the 
timing was right, that the tempos would match the vibration. So starting with the root chakra or the first bowl, the tempo needed to be the slowest. I think it was 56 beats per minute and then each bowl would gradually get faster. So the second bowl was, I think, 60, and then 70, and 80, and so on. I remember the sixth bowl, or the sixth chakra, which is known as the third eye. We have a song, Frequency 432. And when I was listening to the chakra bowls ringing, I could feel a sense of a hymn or a chant. And I could feel my father singing in my mind. Create something that your mother could play the piano. So we did. Frequency 432 is the song my mother played the piano. And I played the piano too. Uh, so we had a duet, me and my mommy. In the car one day, my mom just started singing. Just like a little ooh. And I was like, Mom. And she's like, I don't know, I just want to sing. <laughs> Each day, for say five minutes a day, just pick a chakra. Bobby Ray would say you could do a complete tune-up and that would take about 45 minutes doing all the chakras and the sealer bowl. I feel a focus towards musicians, artists, dancers, creative people, and of course those who are suffering, trying to find their way. Those folks that need to have help in navigating the path. My hope is that all of you will embrace this as much as we have and share it with everyone you know. Attunement. Dedicated to healing the mind and body. All love, all the time.